It was a dream of Leonardo da Vinci to be able to understand how the human body functions and how to improve the healthcare. Intensive development of nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy and superconducting electromagnet engineering allowed development of magnetic resonance imaging system enabling visualization of internal organs of the patient. In the heart of the system is a large superconducting magnet. Inside the main superconducting coil there are also gradient coils and RF coils which are usually not superconducting. Gradient coils are used to produce deliberate variation in the main magnetic field. There are usually three sets of gradient coils, one for each direction. The set of gradient coils for the z-axis are Helmholtz pairs and for x and y axis paired settle coils are used. The RF coils are the antenna of the MRI system that broadcasts the RF signal to the patient and receives the return signal. Patients with magnetic implants cannot easily be scanned due to the presence of high magnetic field. The variation in the magnetic field permits localization of the image slices as well as phase encoding and frequency encoding. So for example, suppose you do NMR on my head, as in an MRI system. Then if there's a change in magnetic field across my head, it means that the frequencies are different on the two sides, and when I measure the NMR from my head, you broaden the line width. That's inhomogeneous broadening. A complex three-axis slicing technique and advanced computation allows creation of three-dimensional images of human body.